Oh, I'm a butt. Oh, God. oh my God. There's no cushion. I'm on the ground. I'm feeling the ground. I'm feeling the ground. It's kind of lumpy and I can feel the ground. So I can feel how hard the grass is underneath us. Oh, oh. Uh, it's, there's not much support. The filling is a little thin. It's more like a pillow, it's not a bed. So I don't know if you've ever seen dogs that spend a lot of time on, on a hard surface, but they get these pressure sores, and I don't think this would do anything to help pressure sores. We have a almost two-year-old German Shepherd. His name is Roman. He weighs about 80 pounds, so um, he would definitely be able to, to smush the padding under here, for sure. Just with German Shepherds kind of being pretty prone to having like hip issues and elbow issues like that, I would definitely be looking for something that would be more supportive. Oh, I would never want to sleep on it all night. You could feel the floor right through it. It's like there's rocks and sticks underneath. If my dog had to sleep on this bed, I don't think he'd have a full night's sleep. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. It's like a luxurious up here. I love this. Oh, wow. It feels like a bed that I would want to sleep on and probably could with my dog, Buddy. This feels better than my bed at home. I don't feel the ground, that's for sure. And I'm not a small guy either, so at about 220 pounds, my knees are not hitting the ground. You can see that she's sitting up much further. It's much more supportive. My one dog has hip dysplasia. He's 13 years old, and so he struggles with finding a comfortable place to, to settle down. So I think he would really like this. The bed my dog has feels like that one over there. I mean, I'm kind of upset that my dog has that bed now that I've been on this one, so. I could do some yoga on here. <laughs> it's like a real bed, right? Now try that over here. Do it again. Jump. <laughs> Looks like you like it, don't you? <laughs>